Four views. Nigerian army has denied soldiers seen in a viral video who shot sporadically into residential buildings in an indiscriminate, insensitive, recklessly, happily, terrorist-like manner at the hometown of President Mohamedou Buhari spokesperson, Femi Adesina yesterday. Nigerian army in a statement issued by Major Abubakar Abdullahi, the acting deputy director in charge of the 82 Division of the Nigerian Army Public Relations, agreed its troops were at Agwu Town in Enugu State to raid hide out of suspected members of unknown gunmen but added that, the video going viral in the media did not represent the military operation he said was executed in the night. In the viral video, the soldiers were seen not in contact with any gunman or men. The video shows the army personnel were moving comfortably at their own pace. The video also indicated that the soldiers may have successfully completed their operation before the sporadic shooting into residential buildings. Nigerian army promised to investigate the video and any of its men found culpable will be sanctioned accordingly. Excerpts Troops of Joint Security Team have raided a suspected indigenous people of Biafra-Eastern Security Network, IPOP-ESN, Hideout located in Mgboo Agu local government area on November 1, 2021. During the night operation, two ring leaders of IPOB slash ESN were arrested. The suspects are currently undergoing interrogation with a security agency. Photo grid screenshots of soldiers shoot into residential buildings recklessly. Nigerian Army promises to investigate the video and ascertain the actual location the activities were carried out. It should be noted that, Contrary to IPOB slash ESN propaganda video, there was no incident of indiscriminate firing or unprovoked burning of houses during the raid. The joint operation in Agwu was conducted in the night and there was no destruction of any private property involved. The trending videos in circulation claiming to represent the aftermath of the night operation is not portraying the Agwu operation. It is meant to whip up sentiment and incite the public against the army. Meanwhile, investigation into the video is ongoing to ascertain when and where it was shot and those involved. Any personnel found culpable would be sanctioned accordingly. Updates will be communicated when investigation is completed. Members of the public are advised to disregard such propaganda materials intended to mislead the public. We shall continue to support other security agencies in line with our constitutional mandate in a professional manner. Any act of unprofessional conduct among our troops will not be tolerated. Kindly support our vision of building a community of one million Penn soldiers whose successes will be judged based on positive development in the society. Unknown gunman, Nigerian army denies soldiers who shot indiscriminately, recklessly into residential buildings at Buhari's 8 Femi Adesina hometown, Agu November 2, 2021. Nigerian army has denied soldiers seen in a viral video who shot sporadically into residential buildings in an indiscriminate, insensitive, Kebi State Governor Atiku Bagju holds commissioners responsible for delay payment of workers' salary October 31, 2021. Kebi State Governor, Abubakar Atiku Bagju has ordered the immediate payment of salary to primary school teachers in the state, Equalobia attack, we killed four unknown gunmen during gun battle, Nigerian Army October 30, 2021. Nigerian Army has said its men deployed to Anambra State followed up with unknown gunmen who killed operatives of the Anambra election, two DSS killed, Saludo proceeds on campaign as unknown gunmen, Nigeria soldiers engage in face-to-face gun battle in Equalobia October 30, 2021. For more than two hours, armed forces of Biafra Republic often referred to as unknown gunmen engaged men of the bandits, Boko Haram same as area boys, now I know why Kwara state governor called Lai Muhammad a useless commodity, Reno Omokri October 30, 2021. Former presidential spokesperson to Good Luck Abel Jonathan on New Media, Reno Omokri has described the Federal Minister of Information and